Do you remember Starter, the fashion brand of the 1990s? David Beckerman had been a salesman at a Duxter sporting goods store when he realized that the bland clothing on the racks held little interest for casual sports fans. So he borrowed $50,000, used $25,000 of his own savings, and opened Starter, a licensed sports apparel company in 1971. By 1971, he had convinced an investor named Ruby Vine to help him launch Starter. The name was chosen for its simplicity. Beckerman thought all great brands were just one word, and because every athlete dreams of being a starting player. Beckman hired one salesman to sell the goods in three states, Ohio, Having teams wear starter was only part of Beckerman's strategy. He knew consumers were brand loyal, turning their noses up at anything that didn't carry a familiar logo. Picking up on the trend of young adults wearing their hats backward, Beckerman applied starter's star logo to the back of the caps. Part of his time was spent fielding calls from movie producers looking to secure permission to feature the jackets in films like Coming to America and My Cousin Vinny. His son Brad was plugged into the music scene and got Will Smith on board. It seemed like Starter was everywhere. In 1991, the brand was doing $200 million a year in sales. In the early 90s, Starter's appeal was a major factor in a string of robberies. The jackets were priced at up to $300, were so coveted that some incidents turned fatal. A 17-year-old in Ohio was shot dead for a Georgia Bulldogs jacket. The morbid publicity capped a tumultuous few years for Beckerman, who had suffered a bizarre string of misfortunes in the late 1980s. A warehouse fire, hurricane, and tornado all caused major inventory losses. A shipment from overseas contained 250,000 pieces of lice-infested merchandise. Some thieves skipped the ponderous effort of robbing people individually by hijacking entire trucks. In 1992, 
Nike CEO Phil Knight offered to buy the company outright. Instead, Beckerman chose to take it public the following year while racking up over $350 million in sales. In 1994, Major League Baseball canceled its postseason due to a player strike. Traditionally, the hottest time of the year for apparel sales, the lack of televised games hit Starter hard. The NHL lockout followed shortly thereafter. Suddenly, Starter was without the sports that drove its business. Nothing could be authentic if players and trainers weren't showing up for work. After treading water for a few years, Starter declared Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 1999, citing over $120 million in debt to their major league creditors. The company changed hands several times before landing at Nike in 2004. By 2007, Starter was owned by Iconics, which currently issues limited edition apparel for nostalgic Starter collectors. Beckerman got out of the business, moving into real estate. The jackets may not be as common as they once were, but the love of the game never left him. Yo, this is Jazzy Jeff. And how did I get my starter hat to look like this? The Jazzy Jeff breakdown. First you grab the hat. Then you grip the hat. Then you flip the hat. Make sure it's a starter hat. Then you raise the hat. Then you slam the hat. Then you twist the hat. Then you turn the hat, then you spin the hat, then you smooth the hat. But hey, don't forget, look for the star. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.